Hey guys, Hunter Avalon here, and I really hope you're ready for this video, because I know I am. Uh, I'm a sexist pig! No, really, I'm rolling around in the mud, because I'm a sexist pig! Extremely shallow and really cheesy. The video hasn't even begun, and I already want to kill myself. Does that mean that I could use the ladies' bathroom? Totally! What about me and my safety? <laughs> Forget about you, you little bigot. Your rights simply don't matter to us as much as the rights of transgender people. That's literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, we're only a few seconds in and we've already arrived at Retardville. Basically, I'm just really insecure about myself, so I point out the flaws in others to try to make myself feel better. Anyone with half a brain cell knows that is stupid. What can I do that's really disgusting but is socially acceptable for some reason and will get me lots of attention? I got it. Call me Jake Lynn. You are such a hero. 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 The retard train has officially left the station. What? What? I'm not supposed to be doing this bit. Damn you, Kevin! Hello there, hello there, hello there, and welcome, one and all, to episode 24 of The Descent of Man. Sphere, the series where I take you through the ways in which the Manosphere and its utterly reprehensible douchebag inhabitants are trying to reverse human evolution and drag us all back into the fucking sea. And today, we're dealing with a guy who wishes he had hair as glorious as mine. Yes, it's the young guy who's got the mindset of an ultra-conservative 60-year-old, the mental development of an 8-year-old, all wrapped up in the body of a 12-year-old. Yes, it's Hunter Avalon. <laughs> It's Hunter Avalon. Now, before anyone thinks that I'm picking on a child, Hunter is actually 19 years of age. I know he looks very young, but he's actually 19. So he's an adult at this point, and he speaks about controversial topics in incredibly crass, disgusting, and bigoted ways. So you know what? Fuck him. He's fair game as far as I'm concerned. Now, Hunter is an ultra-conservative, Bible-believing Christian, a Trump supporter, and an all-round fucking bigot. He really is the perfect distillation of all the worst bits of Fox News. But his channel wasn't always that way. Up until relatively recently, he used to make pretty much harmless, albeit fucking annoying and shitty videos aimed generally at teenagers, and they were called things like Hilarious products at Walmart. Worst places to go on a first date. Most stupid pictures online. How to get a date in six easy steps. Ten worst Christmas gifts ever. And other such mindless drivel like that, which for some reason are just absolutely fucking loved by teenagers. And that's the reason that we should go around beating teenagers with sticks. But anyway, as I said, up until about 10 months ago, he was doing those kind of shitty, drivelly, fucking pointless videos. And then, all of a sudden, he realised that spewing out videos full of fucking right-wing, bigoted, hateful shit was a very good method for growing your channel. So he started crimping off videos called things like Feminist throws fit over sexist kids' toys. My beef with vegans. Why I hate vegans. The truth about Target's bathroom policy. Retarded feminist video bashes men. Crying liberal offended by Trump fans. And most notable amongst all of those videos, given the absolutely justifiable backlash against it, was a video entitled The Truth About Transgenders. And already, by the title, you can tell what kind of fucking hateful shit it is. Transgenders. It makes them sound like they're a different fucking species or something. Now, I'm not going to take you through uh, the majority of this video because, frankly, uh, there are a couple of videos linked below that are rebuttals to his video uh, that are much better than anything I could really do. So you should go and check those out instead. But basically, his argument can be summed up by this. Man, I'm so bored. What can I do that's really disgusting but is socially acceptable for some reason and will get me lots of attention? I got it. Please, call me Jake Lynn. You are such a hero. 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 Hey guys, Hunter Avalon here, and I really hope you're ready for this video. 
because I know I am. Let's begin. Truth is, being transgender is not normal. Sorry, but the idea that you're a man trapped in a woman's body or a woman trapped in a man's body is simply not normal. Basically, he thinks they're icky and therefore, I don't know, it's okay to be hateful towards them or something, I'm not entirely sure. And just like the Truth About series that Stefan Molyneux puts together, this video has absolutely no fucking truth to it whatsoever. He then goes on to use the same absolutely mega discredited uh, Johns Hopkins University scientist who is used by all of the fucking out there right wing Christian fucking fundamentalist pricks and Thunderfoot as well to justify his bigotry. And by the way, to all of the people out there that use that scientist's work, he has been thoroughly debunked by basically everyone else in his fucking field. So basically, shut the fuck up with that hateful nonsense. But there is one more part of the video I'd like to show you, just a small little clip. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because now it's time for... Yes, it's the almost inevitable bit about Lacey Green. And now later on in The Truth About Transgenders, he has a really petulant and entirely unnecessary swipe at Lacey. Truth is, gender is not a social construct. The entire notion that gender is just a social construct and you can pick and choose your gender is a bunch of Tumblr bullcrap. And no, I don't care about what Harry Ugly Lacey Green has to say. I care about facts and I care about reality. Firstly, your opinions on her attractiveness or otherwise are fucking irrelevant. They mean nothing, okay? And the fact that you've said that she's ugly and hairy in lieu of actual argumentation is what we like to call an ad hominem. Don't worry, I know it's a fancy sounding phrase, right? But you can Google it. And secondly, as to your stated interest in facts and reality, what a load of old shite. You clearly don't give a fuck about either of those things considering you're a fundamentalist Christian creationist. Yeah, did I forget to mention that? He's a creationist fundy fucktard. So if anyone was labouring under the illusion that we were dealing here with someone of rationality and with a love for science, yeah, well you can dispense with those ideas immediately. Now considering he's such a transphobe, this next bit is a tad strange. Yeah, this dude owns a lot of wigs. And he likes to put those wigs on, usually sort of traditionally female wigs, and prance about doing high-pitched, woman-y kind of voices. Yeah. Yeah. And there's makeup. Yeah. Yeah. So the incredibly transphobic dude likes to put on women's makeup and women's wigs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Hunter, you really should look up self-hatred. You might just find it very interesting. And by the way, just putting on a wig and doing a silly accent is not comedy, you dickhead. Now, needless to say, because he's in this fucking series, Hunter really doesn't like feminism. I hate feminism. Here's eight reasons why. Hey everyone, it's Hunter Avalon here, and I really hope you're ready for this video. Because I know I am. Like, I am really ready for this video. Let's begin. Well, this should be fun, shouldn't it? Finally, a privileged white guy is going to tell us all about why feminism isn't necessary anymore. I mean, why so original, Hunter? Really? I mean, you really are a breath of fresh air in this incredibly underpopulated marketplace. Thank fuck there's finally a white guy who's going to tell us all about it. Number eight. Not all feminists are like that. One thing I can't stand about feminism is that they think they can cover up all the problems with their little movement with the phrase, not all feminists are like that. Okay, um, that's cool, but oh yeah, we don't care because some feminists are like that. Oh, okay, I get it, right? So when people like you, you know, anti-feminist dickheads, say things like, well, not all men are rapists, feminists can just say, well, I don't fucking care. Because some men are rapists. And when you say, not all white people are racists, we can just say, well, I don't fucking care. Because some white people are racists. And when you say that not all heterosexuals are homophobic, I can say, well, I don't fucking care. Because some heterosexuals are homophobic. Do you see where that's going? Obviously you do, because of this shit you said in a different video. I just want you to know that... The people that are voting for him are really sick people. I feel fine. And hold on a second. 
Are you saying that all Trump supporters are sick, disgusting people based on the actions of just a few people that you spoke on the phone with? So remember everyone, you can't judge Muslims based on the actions of just a few, but you can judge Trump supporters based on the actions of just a few. Hashtag liberal logic. Hashtag liberal logic. What a wanker. So clearly, you understand that that is not an acceptable argument to use because you realise that lumping everybody in because of a few extremists within one group is wrong when it fucking suits you, you disingenuous, slimy little shitbag. Number seven, they don't treat men and women equal. <sighs> equally, Hunter, that sentence should read, they don't treat men and women equally, not equal. I mean, we gave you such a beautiful language, America. Why do you do this to us? I mean, we really should have asked for a deposit up front before we let you use it. Number seven, they don't treat men and women equal. Feminists pride themselves in how the movement is for men also. Yeah, maybe transgender gay men, but no straight guy's gonna wanna join your little club. Oh, and is the movement for regular cisgendered guys like me? A, a what? Oh yeah, probably not. I'm sorry. I'm I'm too privileged. I'm so, I'm going to hell. Number six. Feminism thinks it owns equality. So I was once at work when feminism got brought into the conversation and a girl asked me if I was for equal rights between men and women. And I said yes, because I absolutely am. She then told me that I was a feminist. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not a feminist because I didn't pee for equality on Twitter. Something I've noticed is that a lot of teenage girls nowadays claim to be feminists with little or no understanding of how much disgusting crap is associated with this vile movement. You can stand for equal rights without being labeled a feminist. Yeah, that would be a poorly worded and rambling version of the I'm not a feminist, I'm an egalitarian argument. And yes, sure, right, you can call yourself whatever the fuck you want. You want to call yourself an egalitarian? Fine, go ahead. But that doesn't even begin to mask the fact that you are only paying lip service to the idea of equality, okay? It's basically a very dishonest version of the virtue signaling shit that you guys keep fucking prattling on about. You say that you're for equality, but you're prepared to do absolutely nothing about it. You're prepared to make none of the difficult decisions it takes to get to anywhere near equality. So in practicality, what you're are actually for what you are advocating for is a continuation of the status quo so to put it another way in practice you are supporting inequality 